Hey everyone, it's Heather, and for today's video, I am doing my July monthly favorites. It's been a while since I've shared my favorites with you guys. In fact, I haven't really made that many videos at all, so it's really good to be back in the studio chatting with you guys again. So for this monthly favorites, I don't have too many things that I'm like loving right now, but that's kind of cool because, you know, some months you find just like one or two special things that you really enjoyed and that's fun to share. So let's jump into it. So we have a variety of items in this month's monthly favorites video. We have home stuff, we have fashion, and a little bit of antique items. So we're gonna start it off with this candle. So I originally filmed a review video on this, but I thought it would be better just to throw this into my monthly favorites because this is seriously one of the coolest things I've ever received. So I wanna thank my friend Zachary for gifting me this. So this is the Abandoned Hospital candle. So this candle was made by a company called Bazaar in Baltimore. So this candle was being shared all around the Urbex scene and I had been wanting to get one. They kept selling out. So Zachary was kind enough to watch out for me and snag me one of these. So thank you so much. So I have burned this a few times now. Here's what the inside looks like. So this is a soy wax and hemp wick candle and it's made to smell like mold, dust, and decay. So if you're an explorer or you just like creepy stuff, you might really dig this candle. <clears throat> Every time I smell it, I cough because <clears throat> it has this strong musty smell whenever you breathe it in, but it's not bad. I was actually sniffing a musty old book whenever I was testing this out, and it's not like the bad kind of musty. It's just this musty smell that really hits you, but then it smells like... It kind of smells like a man's cologne, or I somehow get like a slight vanilla scent. It's so strange for me to explain. Whenever I first was testing it, I wasn't 100% sure if it really smelled like an abandoned building. As you guys know, I am an urban explorer and you should always wear a mask when you're out exploring. I try to a majority of the time. Um, but I do get that musty kind of moldy smell, but it just smells amazing, honestly. Like I, I really have no complaints about this candle. I think it's awesome. First of all, it's really cute. I like the presentation of it, just with this nice brown paper label and the brown glass. I mean, it looks really cool on your shelf. I think it smells really good. <laughs> like I was saying, like I'm getting a hint of like vanilla frosting mixed with like decay. If this looks interesting to you, I would definitely try to get one. I do think they're worth it. I think they're really cool. So I try not to burn it too much because I want this to last a while because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to snag another one, but uh, it's really cool that they came up with something that was a hit and people are loving it. I mean, I know I love it, so yeah, that's why I made it into the favorites video, just something different. All right, so some of you guys might like this because I actually went thrifting. <laughs> so I decided to go to Goodwill Outlets uh, because I was killing some time with someone and we figured, hey, you know, we're out looking at antiques today, why don't we stop in Goodwill? Mainly because I was trying to find a cabinet for my antique collection so I could start working on that and so I can share that with you guys. They did not have any furniture, unfortunately, but I found these. <laughs> so these are some really cool dome glass frames. I started collecting oddities and I've been wanting to create my own pieces and I saw these frames a couple months ago at an antique shop. Um, they're just like vintage frames on the back. It says made in Italy. Um, they have like velvet on the back and they just have this floral print inside. Uh, so I saw these at an antique shop really cheap and I regretted not getting them because I could totally put my own velvet backing in there, any kind of backing, 
and I could create my own art piece in there. I mean, I could put bones in here. I could put hair. I could put little antique finds. There's so many ways you could arrange things in these frames, and I love how it's real glass. So my plan for this is that eventually you guys will see a video where I, um, I coat the metal a different color and then I create my, my art that's gonna go in here. So it's gonna be cool. I cannot wait. Um, I've actually seen around Instagram um, some other artists who have used these frames uh, to create stuff and one of my hair is stuck to that. That's great. Um, so yeah, other people have, you know, used these frames and I love finding these frames that are almost like a little shadow box if that's the right term for a frame like this because I could put so much in here. It would even be a cool way to display some of my photography collection, you know? So I'm always looking for stuff like this, so I can't wait to actually make something with them. So I actually got both of these for like next to nothing. I think at the outlets I paid like $2 in total for everything I got as usual and that's why I don't go there anymore because it's too addictive. It's too much fun and it's too cheap and I don't need any more clutter. But these, I was like, I will use. So here is another one of my favorite deals from this month. So I went to Gabe's and they were having a huge sale um, and at that sale I found these shoes. Look how cute these boots are. So I pretty much only wear heeled boots. I'll wear flat boots for adventuring. <laughs> but for the most part, I like to wear my heels. And uh, whenever I saw these little booties, I was so excited. So these are a vegan leather material, AKA uh, plastic, as people want me to say. <laughs> Actually on the inside, it says uh, fabric. So we're just gonna call these fabric boots. So some people take issue with me saying vegan leather, you know. So anyway, they're super cute. They are gray and they have these little strips going across the front and like a little buckle and they have like a little bit of, um, I don't know, dye on them right here. I just thought they were super, super cute and I like how they just zip up on the back of your heel. So uh, comfort wise, I'm definitely gonna wanna get some inserts to wear with these. I've only worn them around the house and I can already tell that like if I wear these out and about after a bit, my feet are gonna hurt. But I think with an insert in them, they're gonna be so cool. I love how they basically go with everything. I love wearing gray and these are just so rad. So guess how much I got these for? They were six dollars. <laughs> so you can't beat getting some awesome shoes for six dollars. All right, so on to some more fashion stuff. So I'm gonna share my favorite bag right now. So this is a Killstar bag and I got this on clearance because I needed a summertime backpack. If you guys remember in my bag review video, I bought the damsel backpack and while it's beautiful and it could hold a lot, um, it's not good to have velvet on my body in the summertime. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> I wish I had just bought this cheap backpack from their clearance because I love it to death. So the front has a little window on it that's in this studded heart. And then you got plenty of room inside and I strongly prefer this material over the velvet. It's just easier to keep clean, you know, easier to travel with and not worry about it getting messed up. On the back, it has the Killstar logo, of course, and the little Killstar zipper pulls. I love this backpack. I think, you know, for the, I think I paid like, what, $25 for it. I think that's a good deal. Um, it works really well, the zipper works. Um, at first I was like, I don't like the see-through, you know, because with like these Ida style bags, there's normally like a little pocket right here and you can like slip something down in there. But with this one, you can't, it's just there. But I'm okay with it now, it's whatever. I actually kind of like having a see-through backpack because some places around here are really suspicious about backpacks, even if they're smaller like this. So I'm just be like, hey, you can look right inside and see there's nothing, nothing going on in there, you know? So also in here, I have this phone case that everywhere I have had this phone case out, 
someone has complimented it and they really, really like it. It's kind of like a recolor of Marie from Aristocats, but she has kind of like a Sailor Moon styled moon on her head and then she has these little bat wings. And this is actually a really cool case. The only downfall about this case is that whenever my phone is in it, I have my phone in my other case right now for this exact reason, is that the buttons, like, it's hard to screenshot and like I have to go around this way. I don't know how to describe it unless my phone was in the case and I have no idea where I set my phone right now. But I do like how it made my phone heftier, my phone felt more protected, and it looked really cute, you know, for pictures of me with outfits to be holding this like big, cute, adorable cat. So favorite top right now. So of course I would like a top that is not exactly good for the summertime. <laughs> So this top is super cute and I don't even know how well you guys can see it because it's black and it's getting dark but um, I need to wash this and it's gonna go in the wash after I'm done filming but it has these sleeves that are kind of like billed and then on the chest is this gorgeous piece of sheer lace and that's probably my favorite part is this little lace window the top, which has makeup on it, <laughs> just has this kind of like slightly ruffled high neck collar. Um, and then the sleeves have little ruffles. Unfortunately, like, they're not perfect. Like one of the sleeves was kind of wonky. So I just need to kind of uh, fix that up a little bit. But otherwise, it's so comfy and breathable. It's a very light material. And this is definitely like my favorite Killstar top that I have gotten. Probably my favorite piece of Killstar clothing in general, other than my boots. This would have to be it. I definitely recommend this top. It's really, really cute. So I bought something this month that I can't wear until fall. <laughs> But I've been looking for one of these and I decided to treat myself. So I was at a store at the mall and I saw this jacket. Now I have been wanting to replace what I call my Explorer jacket. It's this vegan leather jacket that I always wear in my old videos and it had a hood on it. Well that thing, it doesn't look very good on me. It's pretty big on me now and the hood's just kind of a pain to clean <laughs> so I decided that it was time to upgrade my Explorer jacket to something else and I finally got this beauty even though like I said I can't wear it for like another you know couple of months <laughs> so I felt really silly buying it and I think some people were actually like giving me a hard time for buying it right now. Um, but it was a really affordable price and I knew that it was everything I wanted in a jacket. And so I figured I would just get it. And if anybody wanted to say anything about it, well, they can do that because I like it. All right, so here is the jacket. You guys may have seen this in some of my photos. So I think my favorite thing about the jacket are these little pad things on the side and I have been looking for a jacket that had those. I just think they add a really nice touch. It looks like, yeah, they go all up on the shoulder. I love that. It's really comfortable. Uh, for me, jackets are always kind of tight right here, but this is actually pretty comfy. Um, I can't seem to get away with jackets that are more fitted in the body because then they always end up being way too tight in the arms. But this is great. It's going to be super cute for fall. I can't wait to wear this. I'm basically going to live in this jacket in like two months. So I really don't regret buying it now. It was like the one item that I treated myself to at the start of the month. And it was pretty cheap. So I don't feel bad at all about it. The material is really soft and it's comfy. This was the first creepy object I got for my collection. And you guys didn't know this, but back when I was still living that kawaii life, I was secretly like collecting creepy things on the side, but like everything I bought had to fit like that cute aesthetic. And I didn't want to buy anything else. But whenever I found this, 
it kind of opened the floodgates of me getting back into my interest in like antiques and oddities and stuff like that. And I just kind of had it like hidden all this time. And I actually had it out in my garage and recently I was like, I have to find that thing. And it took a lot of digging, but I finally found it. So I wanna introduce you guys to Eyeball Mirror. So here it is. This is Eyeball Mirror. You can see the reflection of my ring light in it. So it's this mirror that for some reason has an eye on the top. And I always thought it was so cool. It actually looks just like pictures I took when I was like 17 of myself because that's how I used to do my eyeliner. So it looks like my eyes, which is the craziest thing. I have no idea of how old this piece actually is. Um, I would just say vintage, you know? Um, I was thinking like, is this something you can get at Home Goods? I don't know. I just remember I was going through a bin at the thrift store and all of a sudden I saw this eyeball and I just felt like this intense like energy coming from it. Like it was just so intense for some reason. I was almost afraid of it, which made me want it. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is really fascinating. I would love to have this in my house. So I brought Eyeball Mirror home and that's what I call it because why complicate things? <laughs> So this is definitely one of those really strange pieces that I have in my collection and you guys will be seeing my odd kind of creepy collection very soon. So my final favorite for July would have to be this hat from Killstar. I am obsessed with it. It is so smushy and you can position it however you need to for pictures or comfort. I think it is so cool. I have another fedora that I got before this that is more rigid and this one you can just smush up, throw in a bag, do whatever you gotta do with it. So I'm actually gonna take this off. Um, so here is the hat and it's covered in cat hair, of course. The life of a cat mom, you know. <laughs> so don't mind the cat hair, but around the hat are all these little moons. And I really like the material they're made out of. They're really cool. And I just love how smooshy the hat is. It's really nice. Um, I haven't had an issue with it flying off yet, mainly because I hold on to it. Um, but I like how it's like a big hat, but it's not overbearing. You know, it's just the perfect like brim. Like I wouldn't want a hat that was any bigger than this unless I'm going to the beach or something like that. But it does fit my head, which is good because I don't know if I have a big head or what, but hats never fit me, but it fits tight enough to stay on my head with, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it fits tight enough to stay on my head without giving me a headache. Whenever I go back though, like this, it starts to pop off. So that's the only downfall. But I could just like pull that up in the back and there we go. Now it fits. <laughs> but I don't know, I feel like it adds like that finishing touch to outfits for me. It's been fun to wear for pictures and filming and I really like it. So I totally forgot to say goodbye to you guys and end the video. So I'm doing that now and I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching this video. I know my past two videos have just been silly stuff, but the more serious content is on the way. I feel really re-inspired now as a content creator. The past couple months have been crazy, but over that time period, I learned a lot of new things and I figured out what exactly I wanna share here on YouTube. So those new videos are in the works and a lot of you guys ask me, do I still collect the vintage toys? Yes, I do. And I'm gonna be doing a series called Toys from the Past. So they're still gonna be a part of the channel along with adding videos about adventure and history and fashion. So give this channel a couple more months to slowly start to blossom. And I think you're gonna be really happy with the new direction I'm choosing because I'm really re-inspired and that's what matters. It sucks when you're a content creator and you're just like burnt out. It's really cool that I've come up with new ideas for this channel and I just can't wait to share that with you all. So stay subscribed, please stick around and thank you all so much for watching this favorites video. Like I said, better videos are on the way. So just hang tight. You might be surprised of some of the stuff I have in the works. All right guys, I love you all so much. Do your best to stay positive 
And don't forget to stay weird. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.